Hello, it's Markham with Horse Chief from Markham 3D. And in this video, we're gonna set up constraints so that when we move the tire forward, it rotates correctly. Now, first off, this model is available on BlendSwap. There is a link in the description and it was a model created by Franco Zero. So what we're gonna do first up, I've made this all one mesh. I'm gonna go Shift A and I'm gonna add in an empty and I'm just gonna make it a cube just so we've got something that's going to control this wheel. Now what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna scale it on the Z axis, so it sits above, scale it on the Y, there we go. So this is gonna be what the tire is going to follow. Now first things first, if I go GY, we can see that the tire isn't following it. So I can parent it by selecting the tire and shift left clicking the empty and going control P, set parent to object, or since this is gonna be a constraint tutorial, let's use constraints. So I'm gonna select the wheel, add object constraint, child of and we'll make it the child of this empty we can see that the wheel has expanded and that's because it's taken on the scale of our box so if we just turn that off we can see now that the tires reverted to a correct size let's select our constraint or our empty and then we can move it around and it stays you little ripper now let's go back and select the tire let's add object constraint and we'll add a transformation obviously let's set the target to our empty and now let's have some fun over here on the right hand side. So what we want is we want to get the location of our empty and translate it to the rotation of the wheel. So let's select rotation of the destination because the wheel is the destination and the source is our empty where we've got it up here. Now what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to guesstimate. I'm going to say when Y equals 20, when the max equals 20, I want the tire to rotate 360 degrees, so it goes a full rotation. If I move it now, nothing will happen. That's because our source to destination mapping is incorrect. We want Y to go to X, okay? So we can see our destination is X and we want the Y value, so we change this to Y. So Y to X, you little ripper. Now if I go GY, we've got rotation, but it's spinning backwards. So let's select the tire again and we'll just change this to minus 360 degrees. GY, you little ripper. However, as we move backwards and forwards, you can see that it stops. And that's because we've got that min and max value. If we select the wheel again and turn on extrapolate, there we go, GY, and now it spins forever. Brilliant. However, it is not spinning correctly. So if we go into like kind of like front view, we can see that it seems to be ever so slightly, that's actually pretty close. <laughs> That was a pretty good guess actually. But if you want it to be 100% accurate as we move the empty to be rotating the wheel, let's select our wheel. Let's check our dimensions on the Y axis or the Z axis. Let's get our dimensions on the Y axis. I'm gonna do control C to copy. Let's bring up our calculator. And what we need to do is this is the diameter. So it's not the radius, but the diameter. So the total width of the tire, we need the radius. So from the center, outwards. So let's bring up the calculator, control V that number in, divide by two equals 2.99, blah, 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 blah. Let's now copy all that. Quick search of circumference of a circle. We can put the radius in here and we can see it's 18.79. So I was super close with that. Let's minimize that. Let's come into the max and we're going to change that to 18.79. And now we're going to have the rotation directly corresponding to the location with absolutely no sliding. Let me show you what it looks like if it is sliding. So if I go max of five, it's gonna look like we're just doing a burnout. <laughs> so there we have it, a very quick tutorial on how to use object constraints on how to get a tire moving with the correct rotation depending on the location. If you can, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out and keeps up to date with my content.